Vesper. It stands for Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion. I'm not going to make you know that acronym, but you should know Vesper refers to basically uh, the shape of molecules. So when I talk Vesper, I'm talking shape.
guys in the lab of Avogadro software? You already did it? Okay. So this, well, it wouldn't help. <laughs> so this is a kind of uh, the same type of thing. Avogadro just calculates all these compulsions for you. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that there are categories, okay? There is a category in which you have a central atom and you have three areas of electron repulsion or electron domain. So you have three areas of electron repulsion and electron domain. Uh, you see those terms used interchangeably. And they can be atoms or they can be electrons. But there are three areas of this repulsion. So if I look at this trigonal pointer, there are three atoms. Each one of them has an area of repulsion because they have electron clouds around them. Then there is one shape in what's called bent, which has two atoms and a pair of electrons. Pairs of electrons on the central atom, not in a bond, act as an area of repulsion. You need to know that. So areas of or lone pairs of electrons on the central atom act as an area of repulsion, just like an atom. In fact, they actually are repelling towards an atom. So lone pairs, not the bonds, on the central atom act as area of repulsion. So this category has three areas of repulsion. Okay? One of them just happens to be a pair of electrons. All right, our next air general category <coughs> is called the tetrahedral. And there are several different types. But the reoccurring theme here is that there are four areas of electron repulsion. If they are all atoms, if they are all atoms, if they are all atoms, then we call it a tetrahedral. Okay. The next one has four areas of electron repulsion. The next one, except one of them is a pair of electrons. Four areas of electron repulsion. So the key to coming up with shapes is figuring out how many areas of repulsion you have. Okay? Absolutely important for figuring out how many areas of repulsion you have. The next category, trigonal bipyramidal, um, again has five areas of repulsion. If they're all atoms, we call them trigonal bipyramidal. Notice that all of these have five areas of repulsion. So the key is to count how many areas of repulsion you have. Okay. And then octahedral finally has six areas of repulsion. Okay. And then we've got linear over here with two areas of repulsion. Okay, so the key to figuring out the shapes of molecules is figure out how many areas of repulsion it has, and then some memorization. Okay? But it's easier to memorize things, in my opinion, by doing it in categories. That's why I gave you this sheet. Okay? So let's practice and do some of these.